According to Vianney Luja, the public relations manager at the Uganda Civil Aviation Authority, the aviation institution is progressing since 1926 when it recorded its first aircraft that landed at Port Bell on the shores of Lake Victoria. They started with the number of passengers at 27,000 in 1962, 11,800 in 1991, and a maximum number of 1,800,000 passengers in 2019 before the COVID-19 pandemic. Uganda had the very first flight to Uganda landing at Port Bell on the showers of Lake Victoria in Luzira. It was coming in from Wilson Airport in Nairobi to deliver mail as part of the mail delivery network then. It is said that when the aircraft landed, some of the fishermen who were on the showers thought it was a ghost from the skies and scampered for dear life. But because then we were using flying boats, aircraft of this type. It was a caravan amphibious type aircraft. The construction work of Entebbe International Airport commenced in 1947 and was completed in 1952, as Luja explains. At six, we had the first airfield developed at Kololo. It was 1,000 meters by 60 yards. It is still there to date. Then in 1945, we had the very first aircraft rather first airline, East African Airlines. East African Airways was formed in 1945 as the very first airline. And in uh, 1947, construction work for the runway at Entebbe International Airport started. And later in 1952, Entebbe International Airport was commissioned by Queen Elizabeth II, the late Lujia further explains that in 1976, Uganda experienced a tragedy of Israel passengers who had to be set free, leading to death of some officials, including Nyatanahu, who was commanding the war. In the 70s, you recall that in 1976, we had the famous raid on Entebbe, which was an operation by Israelites to rescue hostages that had been hijacked and held hostage at Entebbe International Airport following a flight that uh, left uh, Tel Aviv for Paris and made a stop of, uh, rather via Athens, but was uh, diverted to Entebbe. And with 106 people on board who were held hostage by German and uh, <coughs> Palestinian militia. They were rescued in an operation dubbed Operation Thunderbolt. Currently, the old airport where Nyatanahu was killed is a tourist attraction, each tourist paying 20 US dollars to access it. The first Uganda airline was formed in 1977 and this operated up to 2001 when it had a break, finally coming back into operations in 2019. The rescue uh, Netanyahu, who was the son to the former Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, died on the scene. That facility, which we call the old control tower, has since been preserved as an aviation museum. We have plans to transform it into an aviation museum. But in the interim, we preserved the bullet holes in their state, and many tourists come in to view that facility and also look at the spot where, especially Israelites, they like looking at the exact spot where their commander Netanyahu was killed. The COVID-19 pandemic affected the aviation institution that made a reduction in the number of passengers using the airport. However, Luja says it's now at 90% recovery and they think by the end of next year it will be a full recovery. I recall that uh, prior to the outbreak of the pandemic in 2019, we handled 1.8 million passengers the whole year. That number reduced drastically in 2020 because passenger operations were suspended from uh, March 2020 to 1st October 2020. It is only cargo operations that were maintained. And during that time, we had an average of 1,500 passengers per day. The number slightly increased to 2,500 passengers per day in 2021. It was still far away from where it was before, but that number is now slowly getting back. 
Lujia further revealed that by 2023, after completion of construction works of new facilities at the Entebbe International Airport, the capacity will greatly increase from 2 million passengers now to 3.5 million and 7 million passengers later by 2033. Currently, a total of 17 airline companies are operating in Uganda at the Entebbe International Airport, including Uganda Airlines, Kenya Airways, Fly Emirates, Fly Dubai, Randea, among others. Eight aviation institutions have been approved by Uganda Civil Aviation Authority, including AirServe, Kubis Aviation, College Uganda Aviation School, among others. Report by Godfrey Sempija for the news.